You got a two day trial before I take back my time to make you pay. Thirty day trial before I make my mind and it's always there. Trials tribulations. Child, child, child. Kissing their parents, I guess we could do it in French. Wow. Eating low maintenance, child for now, child, child. She got me wildin' now. Tired, 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 tired. Mm-hmm. Yeah, she making that shake, breaking that bed till the back break. Wow, yeah, yeah. Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor. You got me paying for shit. You got a two day trial before I take back my time and make you pay. Thirty day trial before I made my mind and it's always dead. Trials and tribulations. She don't want hard much, she want Amex and I make crime Face called valid, no I never press the crime You can money make it to my lobby, it can't be prime Return policies, you can't be mine Nah, nah Crazy how you managed to make me into a sponsor You got me paying for shit So, we just finished my first client of the day. Um, my next client comes at 4, so I do have a couple hours to just relax and chill. I'm probably going to eat some lunch because I haven't really ate today. And today, I was up at like 7.30 in the morning. Not even. I was up at 7 a.m. in the morning. And yeah, I had a long morning because I was like looking at apartments or whatever. So yeah, I'm about to go ahead and start um, just cleaning up my supplies and make sure everything is clean again for my next client for when she gets here. So my next client is a light volume set. She's actually one of my clients in New York, but she also moved here to Atlanta. So she's my client here too. So I'm really excited for when she comes. I need to figure out like what I want to do with like the room in here because it's really, really dark like when I'm like doing like content for like um instagram and i have this ring light i been stopped using ring lights for when i lash because i don't know it just has like it's not flattering the light only has like one setting and it's not flattering on everybody i ended up getting a whole new ring light i, I used the glam the glam co ring light but that one is still back in new york i want to see if i'm able to pack it um with me when i come back from new york this trip so i'm gonna say i want to see if i'm see i'm gonna see if i'm able to um bring that with me but I'm definitely over this whole ring light and I need this room to look more brighter for my pictures and my Instagram so it can be like a better quality and stuff because that's very very important when um you're trying to gain clientele you want to make sure like your lighting and like your camera is wiped down you want to make sure your content is like um so yeah so I'm definitely gonna see if I can bring my ring light from New York here if not I'm just gonna end up getting the um the moonlight so yeah i think we'll give that like around black friday because that's when they usually have sales and stuff so i'm gonna look into that so yeah like i said i'm just gonna go ahead and clean and then i'll see you guys when my next client gets here Smelling ass nigga with a sick ass mouth and a slick ass flop. 
you guys and welcome back to my channel it is your girl yemi d here i didn't do an intro in the beginning of this vlog but i'm doing the intro now because this part of the video is going to be a q a because you guys have been asking me questions like throughout my videos and i just want to like set it so like if you guys have the same questions again you can just reference it to this video if you guys have any more questions do leave it down below in the comment section and i will answer them for you it won't take me um long like how it took me to do this questionnaire but i will do another questionnaire video if you guys have any more questions so let's get into the video okay so the first question you guys wanted to know was what inspired me to become a lash tech in the first place and was it just the money so what inspired me to become a lash tech in the first place or like i wouldn't even say becoming a lash tech i want to say like owning a business and starting a business was definitely my sister and my family my entire family itself like are very like business oriented entrepreneurs like my dad owned multiple business when he was young he was a realtor he owns like several hotels in nigeria as well as my mom like she's she can literally sell a fish to a water and then my sister has her own business and then my twin owns a hair business line bell legs bundles shop so i'm like just sitting here just chilling you know i didn't know what to do my job at the time wasn't really um paying me that much money i couldn't really buy anything like i was really broke so what inspired me to become a lash tech with my sister because she was just like you know you should be a lash tech like that can like help you like generate more income so i was like i was really up for it because i just like you know like that's something for me to keep starting up i i love the whole business idea so i'm like yeah let me start up the business i really became invested on, on like learning how to do different styles learning how to own your own studio um learning how to gain clients like i really became invested in that because like I just like that whole idea of like that business aspect of like owning a business. If you ask me what I wanted to be when I was younger, even though I said a lot of things, I definitely wanted to have a business of my own. Like I wanted to be a CEO, no matter what that was. Like I just love the idea of business. So that's what like made me want to start my um started being a lash tech in the first place was just like my sister telling me that I should start being a lash tech so yeah i wouldn't say i wouldn't say it was just the money having money be the only thing that's going to keep you going it's not going to keep you going for so long because because in the beginning you don't make a lot of money so just like if you're not making money in the beginning like what's really keeping you going so definitely it wasn't really just the, it wasn't just the money it's just i really like the idea of like like where this can go so i was really interested in that and i love 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 being a lash tech next question what motivates you to sit through clients and lash each lash individually i get a lot of this clients be coming in and they be like oh i never have the patience to like lash all day honestly i feel like you know when you do something all the time you don't even know that you're doing you don't even know that you're doing it anymore like let's say for example like because I, I say that too, like, people who do, like, long-distance drivings, I can't do that. But, like, I feel like I understand when people can do a four-hour drive because just, like, you're just in your zone. Like, you're not, like, you're in your own car, you're driving, you're listening to your own music, like, and you don't even realize that you're driving for four hours. I feel like it's the same with me when it comes to lashing. Like... I just be in my own headspace. Like I, like I have a nice playlist, it's very soothing. Like while I'm lashing my clients, I'm probably just thinking about new ideas of like content ideas or like pictures or like styles I wanna do. Like I'm not really like struggling or like what I'm doing. Like I just like, you know, just it's just a zone. It's like knitting or like watching your favorite TV. It's nothing that motivates me to sit through and lash my client individually. It just like, it's like something that's like soothing. It's not stressing me out. Even though it used to in the beginning, but like in the beginning what motivated me is like, I wanted to see how this turns out. Like I wanted to see how this lash look is gonna look at the end. So I guess that's what motivated me in the beginning. Cause if you're asking me this now, like nothing really motivates me to lash my clients. And then what motivated me before is to see how the set turned out. Like is this gonna look good? Like is it full in this corner, you know? Yeah. Next question is, did you ever experience any form of anxiety while working? I have a story time. <laughs> 
So this one time, I just learned how to start making like volume fans. And I'm like, you know, I want to start pushing myself. I want to like, because before I used to use pre-made fans. If you didn't know, I used to use pre-made fans in my clients. But I'm like, I really want to start like hand making my fans. I think you really start to like customize your sets on each um, client's eyes. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to push myself. I'm going to throw away the pre-made fans to the side. And I'm going to... Um, make the fans my uh, by myself because I'm like I, I could do this like you know like I could do this child I was shaking like I'm not even kidding I had to like I did I did a remover and then I was literally like my tears was like shaking like this like it was so sad like thank God I was like lashing in my room in my house in my house I had to get up and like literally go to the living room and tell her still like yo like you have, you need to tell her to leave like I can't finish like I it, it was so bad like I was shaking they had to put a blanket they had to put a blanket on me <laughs> and I thought I had COVID <laughs> yeah I was just being so dramatic like I was sick and so like uncontrollably I thought I had COVID and I meant to go get I meant to educate to go get COVID tests because I'm just like what the why the fuck am I shaking like this like. But honestly, I was probably having an, an anxiety attack because I literally put myself through so much pressure. But for an advice for people like that, when you're starting something new, definitely take your time. And that's why I recommend, like, that's why I recommend taking, like, doing your, your family or your friends or someone that's close to you. So, like, it's not bringing so much pressure on you and you don't have an anxiety attack or a panic attack. Like, try to do someone that you know so, like, the pressure is not there. You can take as long as you want to take. Um, it doesn't have to be perfect because you know this is your friends and your family and they know you're practicing so I definitely do recommend like finding someone that's really close to you it could be a friend it could be a family it could be your cousins you know and just take it easy because it's it, it's hard it's hard at first but definitely it's worth it at the end if you push through um what are the pros and cons of being a lash tech so I'm gonna try to do like three cons and three pro and three pros so let's do the pros first um, i love the fact that i get to choose my own availability i'm even able to even move to a whole another city like i did just now and know i am completely fine i like the idea where like i don't i'm not set in stone like i don't have to be here i don't have to be there i can be wherever i want to be like it's i love the freedom of being a lash tag i honestly make a lot of money i am able to do a lot of things. I'm able to buy these. I'm able to buy a lot of things. I'm able to save. Now. You can make a lot of money a lot of ways. You can make money from selling products, doing clients, teaching a course. Like it's so like I love how broad this business is and how much money you can make as long as you push yourself through. So I really like that. And then three, I want to say it's just meeting the clients that I have. Like I love, 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 love. I love my clients. Like the stories they be telling me. I love when they just be saying, just be saying, girl, like I miss you. Like my New York clients, they be like, oh my God, girl, I miss you. Just the support that my clients give me is so real. And like, it's just so crazy. Cause I'm just like, it's just, it, I just be thinking like, it's little on me. When they be thinking like, girl, like you're the best last tech in Queens. I just be thinking like, wow, like, my clients really, really go so hard for me and I just love that. And it's sometimes hard to get that support with your friends or like your family. But like, honestly, like strangers can be your biggest support team. And I love my clients. Love you guys. Okay, so let's get into the pros. I mean, to the cons. I gotta think about the cons first. Con number one, for sure, is content creating. Like, you really gotta be on top of content cre creation. Like, especially if you wanna be out there and getting clients, you have to make content, like, damn near every single day and post every single day. Like, that's a con for me. Like, it's just, it's a lot. Like, I'm already a lash. Like, I already have that to worry about. Like, <sighs> My battery died, you guys. Worrying about making content all the time can get very exhausting. Just sometimes I just want to lash, you know. But it is what it is. Another con can be like your clientele, and that's just like the clientele that you build. But like sometimes these clients really just be trying you. What would you recommend someone wanting to be a lash artist? I would say definitely start the lash community. Sorry. Definitely start. The lash community is not oversaturated because I feel like that's some, some excuses people be using on why they don't want to start their business. They be like, oh, um, the lash business is so oversaturated. And it's so crazy because in 2022, in 2020, when I started, I thought the lash business was, I thought the lash business was oversaturated, but everybody offers something different to their clientele. The advice that I want to give for somebody who's just starting this lash business is take your time. Like this is a journey, not a race. Like seriously, you guys, like 
um, you're not gonna have a million clients in the first month you start like just take just take this as a journey and enjoy the process enjoy enjoy the learning experience that you get and and just be kind to yourself like you are starting something new a skill like so give yourself grace learn know that this is a journey not a race and and yeah just and just do it like don't worry about where you're starting if you're starting in your bedroom if you're starting in your basement like people start i literally started in the corner of my bedroom where me and my sister used to sleep like just do it <laughs> how did you start receiving clients how, how long were you practicing mannequins to humans um so the first question was how did you start receiving clients um i used to work at zara and that's another thing you need to promote yourself so that's what i was doing so i was at zara and i was telling all my coworkers like i'm about to get my my lash certificate and I want to do your lashes. And he was like, okay, girl, I'm going to do your lashes. And I said, bet, but what time? I'm going to put you down because I'm dead ass. I was telling my, my sister to tell her coworkers. I even took it as far as DMing girls. Like, and I'm not the type of person to be DMing nobody. And it's just like, I like I understand that. Like, I know some of you guys think y'all too good to be DMing anybody. But like, you really need to put yourself out there if you guys want something in return. Like, so I was physically putting myself out there. I was creating loyalty cards, which, which is another big way to gain clients because everybody loves a discount. So I was doing, if you came like five times, you get a discount, or if you um, recommend your friend, you get a punch in the hole, they get a punch in their like um, loyalty card hole. And then, like I said, like five holes, you get like $20 off. So things like that are definitely ways um, you can build a client. Is that what you asked me? Oh, that's how that's how I started receiving clientele. Yeah, um, and then how long was was you practicing mannequins to humans? I don't recommend practicing on mannequins because the mannequin is not real life. Like the mannequins got four lashes. When you go to a real person, they got like fifty lashes. But I I, I would say you can practice your like placement with the mannequin head, and you can practice like make like making sure your your lashes are straight, and you can also. And I find that's like the only thing you can practice on a mannequin. And then on the side, you can start like practicing your fans and stuff. But I recommend to ditch the mannequin and get a client. I think that's what's gonna help you get more like custom to how it is getting like doing a real client lashes. So definitely just 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 get somebody that you can do the lashes on. Next question: Has anything ever made you feel uncomfortable while lashing? Any horror stories? Um, I'm grateful. I'm not even kidding you guys. I'm grateful. I know and like knock on wood. I never had a weird client. I never had anybody not pay me or anything. Yeah, I never had anybody not pay me. I never had like any like weird clients. I just have people like, like I said before, they're going to test their boundaries. They're going to think they're going to come and they're going to think they can walk in here and I relate to the appointment and think I'm going to do their lashes and that's when you need to put your foot down and be like, no. If somebody already doesn't respect your time an hour enough to even tell you like, hey, I'm gonna be an hour late, or hey, I'm an hour late, can we be scheduled? I know that's so long because people will be like, people will really tell you like, oh, I'm an hour late, I'm still coming. And it's just like, don't come, girl. Like that's so disrespectful. So I never had no crazy horror stories. Thank God. But I just had people just test boundaries on how late they can be with me, and I don't play that shit. You can go. I don't, I'm not waiting for you for an hour, that's crazy. How did you find the place for your lash room? You can just go on Google and write your city and then write like studios. This time it's easier to find a place for your suites versus when I was doing lashes. So yeah, just go on Google or you can go on Instagram or you can go on TikTok. This is the last question. What's your experience with lash supplies in New York City? I only know one really that I tried their lashes in new york city and that is tris cosmetics i have to keep moving you guys around because this camera is always is overheating like why do we always overheat anyways um what was i saying the lash supplies i only know one lash supplies in new york city and that is tris the last store i want to say um it's that is tris cosmetics and i used to use her supplies and in, in like towards like the beginning of my lash business but I personally the kind of look I was going for that's why I ended up um searching up 
my own supplies but lash supplies are really good in new york city like if you need something quick you can call them up because there'll be some times where you run out of glue or you run out of some trays and you have a lash supplies you can contact and tell them like hey like can you drop up drop off the trays to me so yeah i think i like the lash supplies that they have in in their cities like that's a really good business so yeah that is all the questions you guys ask me if I, if you guys have any more questions you guys want to ask me definitely comment down down below and i'll do a part two of the q a's i know you guys want me to do another um like recommendations for like recommendation supplies for beginner lash tech so i'll do that maybe in the next next video so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in my next one Bye.